Freddie Kitchens has been fired as the head coach of the Browns, according to our Adam Schefter and Chris Mortensen. The Browns finished 6-10 and this season with all the expectations going into the 2019 campaign that that, maybe, that team could possibly win the division, probably get to a playoff spot with Baker Mayfield, Jarvis Landry, Nick Chubb, and of course Odell Beckham Jr. coming over from the Giants. But Ryan, it didn't pan out there in Cleveland for a myriad of reasons, but now Freddie Kitchen, a very short tenure there in Cleveland. Yeah, listen, uh, it's, it's starting to happen for coaches this way. I mean, the defensive coordinator for the Cleveland Browns is their de- or was their defensive coordinator because he was fired after one year in Arizona, and that's Steve Wilkes. And so this is starting to happen now. Teams don't have the patience, but I also feel like they want to see progression. They want to see things moving in the right direction. One, this team was undisciplined. It was a fiasco around this team all year, which people thought was a possibility, but they didn't think that it would be the quarterback. They didn't think that Baker Mayfield wouldn't play well and and compound not playing well by not handling the media well. And so when you see all of these things happening, you start to say, okay, maybe the organizational control wasn't in Freddie Kitchens' hands last year. That was Greg Williams, and Freddie Kitchens didn't handle some of the delegation. And that's the hard part about being a head coach. It's not next is necessarily about the X's and O's. It's making sure that things function around this team in the way that you can win football games. And obviously, this team didn't have it. It seemed to get worse as the season progressed. And for sure, their quarterback didn't play well this season, and he got worse as the season progressed. And when that's one of the main reasons you were there, and you can't even do that, right. why are we keeping you? He basically became the head coach, I think, because they felt like the Haslam's felt like there was a good relationship between Freddie and Baker, and they could he could get the most out of them. Um, there's a huge difference between coaching a quarterback and being a head coach. Freddie Kitchens was overwhelmed. Mm-hmm. I mean, just plain and simple, mm-hmm. he, he 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 wasn't ready to have this job. And so, you know, Ryan's been around Greg Williams. I've been around Greg Williams. The truth of the matter is, he might not be everybody's cup of tea. But he's more than qualified to be a head coach. Mm-hmm. You look at the success of, you know, that team last year, kind of how they responded after, you know, they fired their head coach a year ago. You know, it, I think there were probably plenty of people that thought a lot of the success was because of Greg Williams, not necessarily because of Freddie Kitchens. Now, saying that, I didn't think it was a good hire from the jump. Okay. I didn't think that he necessarily would have the discipline that that team was going to need, especially with the players that they had. Um, and I think that if the Haslam family, you know, had a quick redo on it, they would like it, and they're doing it after a year rather than, yeah. you, know, uh, you know, making that decision, uh, making a different decision a year ago. Hi, everyone. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports, more analysis, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus. We'll see you there.